here with head coach Brad Evans. Brad, first of all, congratulations. Uh, two victories this past weekend on the road. Only MAC team to win both contests. Um, you know, just your general thoughts after beating um, always a pesky NIU squad and then a very talented uh, Western Michigan squad. You know, as we, as I said before, uh, both away from uh, Scott Park. Um, yeah, the NIU game was, um, you know, it was first Friday at MAC, so it was a bit frantic and. Um, you know, it's a tough place to play. We've, I can't tell you if we've ever scored more than one goal at Northern <laughs> in my time here. Um, you know, so it was, uh, it was good to get a game winner. I mean, a, a point on the road is okay. Three's great. Um, and I thought, uh, you know, Rachel breaking through in the middle and, and, and creating the opportunity and Nicole finishing it was, was, was a good play uh, from, the, from the two sophomores. And, um, you know, Western's a good team, as evidenced by last year's run and um, the way they play and, and the talent with Skineski and Ciceroni and, um, you know, they're organized in the back. So um, I thought we did a good job of sticking with the game plan. And, and uh, if you'd have said we'd have scored three goals heading in there, I would have looked a little skeptical. But, uh, you know, it was, it was about time we start to finish a little bit more efficiently than we have. And uh, it was a good game to do it. And we needed all three. And... Uh, I think the backs held well enough and obviously got some restart things to clean up. But uh, we'll take six points and get ready for you know two more games on the road this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, how important was it Friday to get that shutout? You know, first uh, first blanking of the season. Um, you guys have been close before, but, you know, just didn't work in your favor. But <laughs> on Friday, you know, to shut out a uh, Northern Illinois team on their home turf. Sure. I mean, any shutout's a good shutout, and the conference openers a better shutout, and um, you know we'll take it when we can get it. And um, you know it was good to get Vicky, uh, you know, tied in his record for shutouts in conference play, and hopefully now she can sort of put that aside, and move forward, and um, maybe there's more to come. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Now this week, uh, looking ahead, back on the road again. Um, just talk a little bit uh, first about the BG rivalry, just before we get into. Um other sure. parts of it. Um, you know, Andy's done a, a, a good job over the years, and it's been competitive, and I think it's a 7-7-4 seven, seven and all-time record <laughs> between mm -hmm. the two teams. You can't get much more even than that. Um, you know, when I think each team, this third game is an important one, it, it sort of elevates you in the standings or drops you down in the standings, and it's important in the early on. And I know it's their first home conference game, so obviously high energy from them, and we're going to have to deal with that. And, um, you know, but it's part of life on the road, and you, you got to find a way to get your points when you can, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll defend effectively and maybe can score a goal or two and see what happens. And then two days later, it's kind of the um, battle of the preseason favorites, uh, Miami preseason favorite in the East Division against you guys. Um, you know, just Miami's always very talented in the attack. Again, this year they have a couple players in double-digit points. Just what you have to do to slow them down and come away with a victory. Um, praying comes to mind. No, um, you know Bobby always has a good attacking team, and they're able to put points on the board. And, and you know you have to stay super disciplined and focused through the game, and 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 you know pay attention to all the details through the course of the game. And you know you've got to find ways to take your chances when you can. Um, you know, and on a Sunday, it's it's you know the road teams this past Sunday were you know four uh, home teams won. The, only two road teams won on Sunday, so it's it's obviously stacked against you a little bit. But we've got to find a way to get a point or three, if possible, and and um, you know see where we sit after two full weekends. Mm -hmm. And finally, um, just talk a little bit about you, you elaborated on it before about the offense. Uh, Toledo's the only team in the conference with uh, three point scores in double digits. Um, you know you're getting good contributions from all three front runners, and now uh, people in the midfield are starting to step up just about how things are progressing in the attack and uh, on finishing. Well, I th you know, in the non-conference schedule, I think we it took me a while to sort of put together lines that I think made sense and worked well together. And, you know, part of that's a coaching issue. Um, and we, we, we put together two groups, and I think they complement each other really well. Um, I think that, um, you know, we've created a lot of chances. We haven't been very efficient finishing. Um, and hopefully we're becoming more efficient in finishing. Um, 
and some of that's just confidence and time and maturity. I mean, obviously, with Kristen, Rachel, and Nicole, you've got a senior who's experienced and scored goals, and Nicole and Rachel are, you know, just both sophomores. Um, you know, so hopefully they're continuing to grow into their roles, and we continue to work on it, and it's it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So mm -hmm. where we are today hopefully continues to refine, if not just a little bit over time. Well, good luck this weekend, and uh, hopefully we can be talking about uh, two more road victories. All right. Thanks, Brian.